Fourth of July travel is ramping up, but airlines are still trying to recover from thousands of cancellations and delays caused by weather. Anna Myler is at Logan Airport, where travelers are hoping to just make it to their holiday destinations. A record number of people are expected to travel for this 4th of July holiday weekend, even more than before the pandemic. So starting today, airports and roads will be busy and you need to be prepared. Jean is eager to get home to Florida after spending a night on a cot stranded at Logan Airport. Flights got canceled. Delta, as a lot of other airlines, had a lot of bad weather last three or four days, so all the flights are backed up. Storms along the East Coast yesterday caused thousands of delays and cancellations. And another potential problem, not all planes have updated equipment to prevent interference from wireless companies that are boosting their 5G service on July 1st. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is warning this could lead to delays and cancellations heading into the busy holiday weekend. We're expecting record-breaking travel uh, this 4th of July weekend. And this comes despite higher inflation and, and costs in general. Hotels are more expensive. Food and beverage is more expensive. Airfare is up by anywhere from 40 to 80%, depending on where you're going. Uh, so folks are really prioritizing travel. While the cost of almost everything seems to be up, gas is down about a dollar and 50 cents compared to this time last year. In Massachusetts, about 1.2 million people are expected to hit the roads starting today. Thursday afternoon is going to be uh, fairly busy. Friday during the day is going to be the worst time to depart. The worst time to come back. Uh, Interestingly enough, Monday. For those who are not traveling and celebrating 4th of July in this city, it's important to know that trains will wait at North Station and South Station for half an hour after the fireworks show ends. Reporting at Logan Airport, Anna Myler, WBZ News.